Hello. So today I want to discuss about the combined networks problem that appeared in Inbound 2015. This is really a nice example of how to deal combinatorial problems using recurrence relations. So the problem says there are four basketball players A, B, C and D. The ball is initial with A and the ball can always pass from one person to a different person. And the question asks in how many ways can the ball come back to A after exactly seven many passes. For example, it starts with A throws to C, C throws to D. B throws to B, B throws to A, A throws to B, B throws to C and C again throws to A. This is a possible 7-throw seven, seven sequence. Then the question asks me how many such possible distinct 7-throw sequences are possible. So let's do this one. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. To do this, we need to convert it to a recurrence relation form. So we are asked to do it for seven many passes. So we will define a sequence that gives me an answer for n many passes and we have to relate it to n minus n many passes. So for that we define Tn to be the number of ways the ball comes back to A after exactly n many passes. And we define the complementary sequence also. So that Un to be the number of ways such that the ball doesn't come back to A after n many passes. So it comes back to some different person after n many passes. So see, after n many passes it goes either goes back to A or it doesn't goes back to A. So Dn and Un they cover all possible cases for the for n many passes. So this gives me Tn plus sorry, sorry, Tn plus Un equal to number of all possible n length sequences. N ball sequences. Now how many sequences are there? See. It starts with A. It throws to someone, then he throws to someone, then he throws to someone, and it ends with someone. Now A can throw to either B, C, or D because a person cannot throw to himself. So this has three choices. Similarly, if we choose one of these, the next person also have three many choices because suppose we choose it to be B. If it is B, then the next person can be either of A, C, and D. Then then if he chooses 3, the corresponding next person should be any of A, B and B. Like whatever person I choose for choose at a position, it, is, it has exactly 3 many choices. The, parts, the choice we discard from 4 many choices is the is previous position. So in this way, like all persons have 3 many choices and we have n many. We have total n many circles, like n many positions and each position has 3 many choices. So this is 3 into 3 up to n into n times that is 3 part n many choices. So this gives me an important relation that Tn plus Un should be 3 power n. Now it is a recurrence relation. So we need to relate n cases to n minus 1 cases like Tn to Tn minus 1 or Un minus 1 etc. So let's see. See. Take any sequence of Tn, so it starts with A, it goes to someone, then it again goes to and it goes to someone and that someone throws to A and it ends. Now, as a person cannot throw back to himself, if the sequence ends with A, the person before it ends, it cannot be A. So, any n length sequences, like any sequence of Tn, if we, ch if we check its corresponding n minus 1 length sequences, it is a sequence of even minus 1. Like its corresponding n minus 1 sequence doesn't end with it. So it is a case of even minus 1. And conversely, if we have a case of n minus 1, like if we have sequence that starts with a and after n minus 1 many passes, it ends and the ending person is not a. We can uniquely extend it to a sequence of tn. Just for example, if it ends with B, we, we just throw from B to A to get an endless sequence that ends with A. 
to give this gives me a bidirection that number of ways i mean number of sequences that doesn't end with a after n minus n many passes is same as number of sequences that ends with a after exactly n many passes so we have u n minus 1 equal to t n or equivalently n goes to n plus 1 this will give me this will give me what u n equal to t n plus 1 and we already had t n plus u n to be 3 power n so this gives me tn plus tn plus 1 should be 3 power n. Now to solve this, we need to also know the base cases. So what is t1? See, it starts with a. So after one pass, it can never go back to a because it goes back to either b, c or b. So t1 is 0. What is t2? See, after too many passes, it goes back to a. So the first pass, it can go back to either either of b, c and a and we have no problem. So t2 is 3. Now we have to solve this required solution with this base values. See, now we can use a variable substitution. Like if we define Bn to be Tn by 3 power n, then we just, in the red equation, we just divide by 3 power n to get Bn plus 3Bn plus 1 equal to 1. And see, this is a linear recurrence relation. This is a linear recurrence. So if you know how to solve linear recurrences using generating functions or characteristic equations, you can solve it easily. But in any way, you don't need all of that. This is this has a simpler solution. We have tn plus tn minus 1 equal to 3 power n minus 1. We'll iterate it. Like if we replace tn minus 1 expressions with tn minus 2, then to n minus 10, we'll iterate it uh, until we get the base case t1. So we have tn equal to 3 power n minus 1 minus tn minus 1. Now we replace tn minus 1 by same expressions of tn minus 2. So this is minus 3 power n minus 2 plus tn minus 3 plus tn minus 2. Same as now we replace by n minus 3 plus 3 power n minus 3 minus tn minus 3. So we can guess that after k many passes, after k many steps, what it will be? 3 power n minus 1 minus 3 power n minus 2 plus up to something into 3 power n minus k. What should it be? See, if my n minus k, like if k is odd, then I can see like its coefficient is plus 1 and if in the case even it is minus 1. So it should be minus 1 whole to the power k plus 1. And as t n minus k and 3 power n minus k sign are different, so it should be plus minus 1 whole to the power k tn minus k and to go to the base case I mean we just put k equal to n minus 1 so this is 3 power n minus 1 minus 3 power n minus 2 plus up to minus 1 whole to the power n 3 power into 3 plus minus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 into t1 and this is already 0 we know that so this is the expression we get for tn like 3 power n minus 1 minus 3 power n minus 2 and this code up to plus minus 1 whole to the power n into 3 now I can reduce it like it looks like an infinite GP series so just make two cases if n is even what, what it looks like if n is even then it looks like minus 1 whole to the power n into 3 should be even so it ends with plus, so it should be minus 3 square plus 3 if n is even. And that is a GP series with common common ratio minus 3. And we have n minus 1 many terms. So this is first term that is 3 into common ratio multiplied by n minus 1 minus 1 by common ratio minus 1 that is minus 3 minus 1 that is minus 1. And this whole if n is even for n odd you can easily see that this should be 3 power n minus 1 minus 3 power n minus 2 plus up to plus 3 square minus 3 so in that case everything is same just my first term should be minus 3 so it should be uh, 3 by 4 into minus 3 whole to the power n minus 1 minus 1 if n is odd so this is my expression for tn 
in general so in question we have we are asked to find t7 and as 7 is odd t7 is just 3 by 4 multiplied by minus 3 all to the power 6 that is 3 power 6 into minus 1 and we can simplify it out so what should be its value What is value of 3 power 6? It is like 728 into 3 by 4. 728 into 3 by 4. It should be 546. And this is the answer, and we are done. So the problem ends here. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR and IISC. For more information, visit Chinta.com.